Hey everybody and welcome to Stock Abilities. I'm going to be covering hockey's setup for 2S, Thinkorswim trading, you know, different keyboard shortcuts you can utilize on the Thinkorswim platform to benefit you. Pretty straightforward. This video is going to be focused more on the day trading aspect, but since I'm covering all the hotkeys, you'll still be able to utilize it for swing trading, so on and so forth. But this is going to be a, a setup to how to go from basically nothing, no hotkeys set up, no nothing to where to go and all that process. So make sure to watch through the whole video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want more videos like this, make sure to comment below your own input and so on and so forth. We're going to get started here. Pretty straightforward. You go to the setup area, you go to application settings, and then you break it down to the hotkeys area. A lot of fun hotkeys to work with. A lot of them kind of pointless, really, but you got, you know, the home screen, you got a monitor, you got trade, analyze, scan, market watch, charts, tools, help, back, next tab, previous tab, next sub tab, so on and so forth. The only ones that I really think are all that beneficial are the charts tab in that regard, uh, maybe the like news alerts area ones as well. But in regards to the rest of them, not so much. You can kind of customize a nice little home screen, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. But the most important ones here is that you want to simply go to the Active Trader and click Enabled. This allows you to zoom in, zoom out, kind of pointless, kind of pointless. Zooming in, kind of beneficial, I guess, the Day Trader, because you can zoom in on the specific candles. Uh, but, uh, eh. The most important ones, obviously, are the buy market, buy ask, buy bid, buy sell market, sell ask, and sell bid. I don't really day trade anymore on the Thinkorswim platform. I do options trading on Tastyworks. You can check out the link in the description below. But the short answer is all you got to do is basically click in, select the particular hotkey that you want to utilize, what key and specific. You can customize it however you want here. And then you can set it so that when you're on the actual ticker, what have you, you simply press the button and you can buy the market, sell the market pretty instantaneously. If you have a lot of capital to work with, this is, a, you know, a nice feature to utilize. Pretty straightforward, simple click of a button. You know, there's widgets that you can utilize as well if you like the more visual aspect. This is helpful for those that are quick in day trading. They want to get in and out. Simple press of a button here, press of a button there, you're in and out, and that's done, and that's over with. Margin accounts, obviously $25,000 you need to utilize this aspect in you know, more of an infinite day trading capacity. If you are a cash trader, you can utilize up to your cash amount. So you could sort of utilize it in that regard. Of course, then you have quick canceling and quick cancel buy, cancel sell. Pretty self-explanatory. If you changed your mind, you want to get out quickly before, you know, maybe a limit or something fills. Maybe news came out, so on and so forth. That's how you do it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, you can reverse your positions. You can reverse now. You know, a lot of different things that you can utilize through these hotkeys. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you could flip to your watch list if you want. You can flip to a lot of different things here. You know, you can undo things. Maybe you accidentally hit something on the keyboard. You can redo things. You can duplicate a drawing that maybe you made on another chart or so on and so forth. You can edit studies. Control E, pretty straightforward. Control S, you know, settings, time frame setups, zoom in, zoom out. So I guess, you know, for a day trading capacity, uh, edit studies would be important if you switch around a lot of different studies. Uh, doing too many studies, obviously not the best idea. Time frame setup, if you want to switch through a lot of different time frames. If you're day trading, this might be beneficial. I just simply utilize three different charts, which you guys seen probably when you entered into the video. And then, of course, uh, zooming in, zooming out, pretty standard stuff. Think of some editor, not really needed for hotkeys, not really. The main ones are the active trader area here, and to make sure to press that enabled button to make it easy for you. Of course, that's pretty much all the different hotkeys that are provided on the Think or Swim platform. All you got to really do when you're out of this window to go and switch to them. See, as you can see here, I got the different time frames already. I don't really need to switch the different time frames because I got the three different charts set up. But I often switch between the charts 
and the flexible grid. Uh, you can utilize uh, basically the home screen in a way. I really don't do much with it. You know, home screen is a home screen. There isn't a whole lot to it. You know, just quick reference of, you know, the main holdings, things like that. Uh, different heat maps are nice, but I'll show you guys why the heat map to me is pointless. I have my own little custom heat map that I've made. If you guys are interested in that, make sure to comment below. It's lagging a little bit, but it shows different colors, things like that. And that can be very beneficial to trading, you know, on a swing or long capacity. You can see where might be a good entry to get into, what might not be, what's considered light green, super green, very green, so on and so forth, to what's probably not doing so hot. Uh, you know, just a quick reference heat map for me personally. You know, is having the hotkeys to switch between these two is more than enough for me for day trading. But if you wanted to use those active trader keys, you simply, whatever you preset and you click. So if you wanted to set one, you know, you did a buy, like maybe to chase the momentum and then the momentum looked like it was starting to fade. So you did a quick sell market, you're in and out, you made some profit and that's it. That's your day. Pretty straightforward to utilize and nothing all that complicated in regards to that kind of setup. You know, you could flip through a lot of these. I would say the you know the most beneficial thing out of all of these would be basically the hotkeys aspect here. And I'll show you guys in the application settings here again. You go to set up hotkeys. Pretty straightforward. There are a lot of different hotkeys to utilize. Which ones you want to specifically utilize is really up to you. I would say for a day trader, the main important ones are the buy market, buy ask, buy bid, sell market, sell ask, and sell bid. Beyond that, you know, canceling an order, obviously, if you made a, you know, made a typo or misclicked, very important to have those set up too. Cancel all button if, you know, you change your mind, maybe some big news came out and you're trying to jump around between multiple tickers and it's like a global news thing. Cancel all button, very important. Cancel buy button, cancel sell button, all depending on the situation, whether you want to utilize it or not in that regard. I already mentioned with the edit studies and things like that, that it's pretty helpful, but not so much in a day trading capacity. In a day trading capacity, the zooming in is helpful too. Obviously, not really a day trader personally on, you know, on shares, but from uh, you know a simple flip of a, a button well not a flip but a click of a keyboard shortcut basically you got it all straightforward here and you simply press in and out and you're done not any real complicated setup to that obviously you know you could do whatever keys you want you know uh alt you know alt to the, with this little uh it, uh, way it has default setup is kind of silly, I guess what I would say. I mean, uh, control Z might make a little bit more sense, but I'm sure that's probably being utilized for something else. You know, a lot of the default settings, yeah, it's being utilized for undo. I guess that makes sense. But you can kind of change these around and make them a little bit more uh, user friendly to you. I would say as a day trader to just, you know, and it disable things like the watch list, disable things. Uh, uh, like the general uh, think or swim think script editor that's kind of pointless you know disabling most of these would be beneficial I mean I guess if you want to keep them maybe just simply not use them at all just turn off that hotkey you just click the none button and if you don't want to use those in particular that way you're only really utilizing what you want to use like the undo and redo could be beneficial, uh, zooming in and out on the charts, beneficial. But beyond that, a whole lot of these other ones, not really worthwhile. I would say that the only one that, at least from a day trader capacity, are these particular commands. Outside of that, I think that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. Essentially, hockey is pretty beneficial, pretty simple to set up. Isn't anything all that complicated? You know, a switch of a button, click of a button, you got, you know, a different screen. 
pretty helpful if you're flipping around and you're trying to find different alerts and or different plays to utilize, like if you wanted to flip to your watch list or what have you. I just have the three main focus ones that I like to look at on the side, the left side of the uh, Thinker Swim platform. And, of course, live news, whatever ticker you're following, what might be having big news, I think. Let me see. What was the big news one today? Uh, I think it was D-Dog had some big news on that one. And as you can see, uh, you can get some different alerts here. The main alerts, obviously, was with their partnership. But I'm not going to go in too much into that. The point being is you want quick reference setup. Uh, active trader enabled pretty simple to do you just click the enable button you're all set to go you set up the hotkeys whatever way benefits you uh you know you could set up a widget as well widgets are basically like these things i have on the left here and a little plus button on the bottom there and or you could set it up on you know this main area for your charting area if you want those are beneficial if you'd rather you know press the buy button press the sell button instead of a quick hotkey to do that uh, hotkey is obviously a little bit more beneficial in that regard but thank you for listening in guys uh, just a quick reference here for ending the video setup application settings and hotkeys and you're right there and you can enable and disable them but that's about all i'm going to cover in this video because this video is basically about hotkeys and how to set them up as you can see, not very complicated, and I shared my own input on what I feel are beneficial, but obviously, depending on your day trading setup and how you utilize things might be a little bit different. So feel free to share in the comments below what hotkeys you think are important. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more Thinkorswim tutorials just like this, and I'll see you guys later on. Have a nice day.